friends, today I have a fairly large collective back to school planner haul for you. So I've been picking these things up for the last month or so from Five Below, Walmart, Target, um, online shops, um, Dollar Tree, those type things. But first I want to show you Walmart. So... I have a couple of items that I just recently picked up um, this weekend. I'll set them off to the side because these items were clearanced. But during when they had all the back to school stuff out in the beginning, I picked myself up some new mechanical pencils. I have been using these ones from Dollar Tree and this is my last one. Um, so I picked these up. I love the fun colors. I love that the erasers match the color of the pens and you get the lead refills in here as well. And this is only like a $1.97 or something for six of the mechanical pencils, which I thought was a good deal. Then I got these retractable assorted color gel pens and we're going to swatch these all out at the end of the video, but I did pick those up. I picked up this 12 months of sticker, a year of planning. You've got 1,400 paper and foil stickers. And so it goes from month, each month of the year and kind of coordinates with what's going on during that month. And I have used a couple of these stickers already out of here. Then this one is the best sticker book ever, Good Vibes Edition. And this was like, I want to say like $5 for this book. You get 2,218 paper and foil stickers. And I have used a couple of these stickers as well. And you do get two of each sheets. They're just not together. You get um, a set in the front of the book and a set in the back of the book. So I like that you could, you know, tear out one of these sheets and gift the stickers or use one of the sheets for your planner and one for crafting. So we have those. Then I found this task planner. It says notes keep on task. I already put my name, kind of started uh, playing around with the paper in here. That's all I've done though. I haven't done anything else. So you get the date and you could circle the date, your task, grateful, important to do, water, and notes. So you have a bunch of those. And then um, nothing else in this one. And then the budget planner here, I put it in one of my little traveler uh, notebooks here. And you have your yearly review, yearly payment, subscription information. Then you have your monthly layout. So you have your month, your monthly budget, your monthly spending, spending summary. And then you go to the next month, so it is undated. And then if you go to the back here, after your 12 months is up. You have your debt tracker at the back here. Monthly savings tracker, weekly savings tracker, and a notes page. And I, even though this is too big, I went ahead and added it in here as well. Now, this weekend I did find some clearance, including this 2024-2025 monthly planner. This was clearance to $1.50. It is the same size, I want to say, as the budget. Yes, so it's the same size as the budget, which is awesome. They'll both fit in here. I like kind of this retro vibe on the outside. 
So then you have your contact, goals, don't forget, going places, dates to remember, contacts, your perpetual calendar, holidays, and then you it starts in July of this year. And you have your monthly, um, then you have this monthly outlook, top priorities, important dates, don't forget to do this month's goals, habit tracker with the days, and then you have two note pages. And then it just repeats. And at the end of the book here, it ends in June with the notes page. So I think that's pretty cool. This is a really good size for on the go and you can't beat $1.50 for that. And then your budget and your monthly can fit in here together. So I'm probably gonna use this as a budget planner for next year. And I'm gonna use the budget one for budgeting. And then I'm gonna use this one to kinda of go along with that, maybe some challenges and different things in here for uh, saving money. Then I found this home edit uh, washi tape for $2.50. I will swatch this out at the end of the video. Another sticker book. This one was $2.50 as well. This is the best sticker book ever. Making Waves edition. And I have not seen the inside of this one yet. So you have 2,480 paper and foil stickers, so it's going to be an oceany theme. We've got Nemo and Dory. These are little cute fishies with the eyes. Mermaid. So these are going to be perfect for summer planning and crafts. And I suspect you get two of each sheets. You've got the little, like, polar bear and things. This could be a winter one the otters are really cute got the norwales some coral oh these mermaids are pretty i'm not a big foil fan when it comes to stickers but these are pretty got some shells and i like these too they're kind of like uh cosmic looking and some alphas and then it starts over so yeah you get two sheets so that was an awesome find for 250 and then i found the paper mate flare you get 10 of these oh no i'm sorry 14 of these 10 of them are 0 0.7 medium point and four of them are 0 0.7 medium point scented so maybe these four are scented and these four is not. Not sure. So these are Nature Escape version. And these were clearance to $5.50. So I thought that was a good deal. I have my Amazon Basics ones here that I love. You can see there's a little bit of a size difference. These are a little bit bigger. And of course these have the little hearts on here. And I do think the barrel is a little bit bigger than this. But we will pull these out and swatch these at the end of the video. So that was everything from Walmart. I got one thing at Target. I went in for the Harry Potter collection. And the only thing that I was able to find was this... Um, composition book so I'll add this with my notebooks I've been thinking about going back and maybe taking a class or two at my community college so this would be handy for that and I love the golden snitch pen so I'll take the pen off of here and put it with my pen collection but I did pick this up and I think this was five dollars I really wanted the pens they had like a pack of like three pens and I really wanted the pens but I went to like three Targets and none of them had them. And then this week, non-school related, I did find the Purple Cauldron in the um, dollar spot. 
So I'm going to put some of my Halloween or sheet in here. And so this is sitting on my desk and this was $5. So cute. I love that it's a purple cauldron. Next, I have five below. I picked up this fun makeup pouch. It's like a purple uh, faux leather with the fun preppy rainbow pouch. So this was $5. And it says it has a bonus hair comb inside. Um, so I have a little air bag in here. Little comb. I don't use combs, but I like the bag for putting pins or washi or planner items in so I picked that up then I found these very bent up windy Wednesday roomscapes decal variety pack you get a hundred of these they say they're repositional but I thought I could use them as stickers in my planner so that was the plan hopefully they're not too damaged in the package um, but you do get Quite a bit of these. I don't know how they're going to work in my planner, but I figured I would give it a try. And this was $4, I want to say. Okay, it is not easy to get the backings off. But yes, they're like, um, kind of like window clings, but they're very sticky, so I'll be able to use these in my planner. Um, I'm allergic to color. Nevermore Academy. So these are really cool. We're going to look at them quickly. There's Wednesday Dancing. Love that one. So we won't go through all of them. We'll just look at a few of them. That one's a little messed up there. But super cute. And then you also have this like paper sheet in the back. So you could use your punch and punch these out and make embellishments with these or turn these into stickers. So I did find that. We are gonna put these away. We're gonna set these off to the side and then I'll put them away in a little envelope in a second. And then I found these adorable little highlighters, mini bear highlighters, six count scented. Um, super cute. So really adorable little bears. And then your traditional highlighter. And these were, I don't know, they were like $3, I believe. Three or four dollars. So I thought those were so adorable. And like, you know, just cute and aesthetic will be cute in pictures when I'm taking pictures of my planner. Lastly, I have a few Dollar Tree pens. I did find these puffy gel pens by Ink. Um, they're retractable gel pens, create dimensional works of art. I found a purple and a blue. Those are the only two colors I found in my store. Then I found this Zebra Z-Grip Flight ballpoint pen in black. And then on two separate occasions, I picked up these pens. These Zebra Gel Stick Pen in pink and purple. And I got a whole nother pack, so I'll be gifting these. But we will be trying one of the packages out. And then my last thing is some new Halloween washi tape. And this is really fun. Pink with little ghosts. So you have the one with the jack-o'-lantern, the pale pink with the polka dots. You've got the pink ghosts, the black ghosts. You've got the orangish color here with the ghosts. This one seems a little blurry to me, though. You've got a stripe, one with candy. You've got spiderweb and flowers, flowers, pumpkin ghost and flowers, pumpkin and ghost, and pumpkins. So I will swatch these out as well. 
Um, I think these are so cute and can't wait to do a planner spread. I do feel like a couple of these are, the, the image is a little blurry. So once I swatch them out, I think I'll get a better feel for them. So to make this video not horribly long, I am going to do a swatch of all of the new pens and the worksheet in a separate video so that things aren't so long. So stay tuned for that video and thanks guys for stopping by and checking out my haul. Hope you have a great day. Bye!